what's up guys this is the worst i have ever looked in an intro oh my gosh it is for the purpose of this video it is how i go from this ratchet self to this insert clip of me looking much better than this hopefully because i haven't obviously done that yet so if you guys are wondering what this video is it is a get ready with me for how i get ready when i kind of like glow up slash like photo shoot ready anything like that i really want to take you guys with me from top to bottom how i just like look better because right now i'm all sweaty and gross so i just thought i wanted to do like a whole like literally every single step of the way you know, I'm filming on my vlog camera because I want to do more like ma like main channel videos, but filming them vlog style. So let me know if you guys like this. I will be showing you guys how my whole body gets ready, how do I do my makeup, my hair, because you know, it definitely needs work. I know, I know. Also, I just got back from the gym, so that's why I'm sweaty. Like, I don't just like wake up like dripping sweat. That, that'd be really nasty. I would be concerned about that. Yeah. This video is partnered with EOS products and today I am partnering with them on the shaving cream and it is hands down my favorite shaving cream. I've used them before I like partnered with them on this video. Like I just emptied out my first bottle like I already finished that and then I am partnering with them now but it's seriously amazing so I will be showing you guys how I use that, the benefits, perks, all that stuff. It's the best. It makes my legs feel so soft and I have like slight eczema. Eczema. Like I don't have like horrible eczema, but I definitely get eczema sometimes on my legs I get like really really bad red bumps and this shaving cream does not give me that whenever I shave without a shaving cream though You guys don't even want to like it's like I have like red bumps all over my legs It feels like I didn't shave it's nasty I know but this shaving cream literally makes my legs feel so soft you guys and I'm just gonna be showing you guys How I get ready and I just want to thank them for partnering with me on this video And if you guys want to check out any of their products, I'm gonna have everything linked down below you guys know the drill But this angle is like not flattering either like is this better? <laughs> no <laughs> There's just not much you can do so I am about to go and wash my body because I'm actually going to get my hair blown out. I normally don't get my hair blown out. I think I've gotten like three blowouts in my entire life besides like when I get a haircut. So I normally don't get my hair blown out. But because I just got eyelash extensions yesterday, I got a refill. Which by the way, they did a horrible job in going back tomorrow to get them fixed. Because it like doesn't look like I have eyelash extensions. That's besides the point. Because I cannot get my eyelashes wet i didn't want to like do a full body shower so i'm just gonna wash my body then i am going to do my hair and then i'm going to shave my legs in the tub because i don't want to be in the shower for too long just in case my eyelashes get wet and then they like all fall out because that would not be good at all i am already looking slightly better i just washed my body and put on an outfit just to go to the hair salon so i'm wearing these ripped jeans and this tank top it's actually kind of cute i wasn't planning on like looking cute but Hey, <laughs> I am running late though. I'm already probably gonna be five minutes late, so I gotta go, but I will show you guys once I'm at the hair salon and once they see this. They gotta work with what they got. <laughs> Can we also just take an appreciation for the hairdressers that let you be on your phone and read a magazine and not talk? I am such an introvert, but thumbs up if you guys feel the same way or comment if you guys just like chatting with everyone because I'm definitely the opposite if you can't tell. <laughs> Just got my hair blown out. It looks so good. This is what I needed to feel glamorous. So thank you to the Blown Away Bar in Raleigh. It looks so much better than that mess that was on my head, that bird's nest that was on my head. Part of the whole getting ready process from head to toe is shaving my legs. And I'm just gonna warn you guys, I haven't shaved my legs in a week, so <laughs> They're not ready, so I really gotta shave them. Um, I'm just gonna shave my legs in the tub because I already showered this morning. But what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, these legs need to get soft. They are not soft at all right now. It's actually kind of disgusting. So this is the real life of how to get. This is how to glow up, you guys. This is.
right now you guys i always put lotion on afterwards i really don't even feel like i have to i but i really don't feel like i have to just because my legs don't feel like rough or anything and i am being 100 percent honest with you guys every time i shave literally makes me break out in red bumps so i'm really happy that i found one that doesn't make me break out in red bumps and i think the reason why is because it feels more like a lotion it doesn't really feel like a shaving cream necessarily like it's not like one of those that foams up which i personally don't like because it clogs my razor more when they do foam up like that eos great thing it is unique skin friendly super smooth shave cream and it is for sensitive skin so that is why i think i don't break out in bumps and why my legs feel like they already have lotion in them because this does have a protective moisture barrier so it actually holds the moisture in your legs for way longer than any other like shaving cream does because normally shaving creams are just supposed to like make it go on smoother but this one actually like moisturizes your legs like a lotion would um it has aloe wild oats lavender which is nice so it's obviously not going to make you break out from that because i know some people are more like allergic to some certain fragrances but this one does not have any it only has skin friendly ingredients it's not going to make me break out with my eczema or anything like that but yeah my legs feel super super soft and i'm wearing a dress today so i definitely needed to shave my legs like that was like a no-brainer like i had to shave my legs <laughs> Anyone else, when you shave your legs, you just want everyone to feel them because that's how I am. That's me right now. <laughs> Too bad I don't have anyone in my apartment, but if I did, I'd be like, ooh, feel my legs. They feel so soft. They feel so Okay, you guys, so as you guys can see, I'm already starting to look a lot better. I also want to know what you guys think of this, like, vlog style type get ready with me. Normally, I may not take you through, like, head to toe whole day, but I had a lot to do today, so I was like, I might as well film a video about it, so that's what we're doing here. So now, we are sitting down to do my makeup, so this is me without makeup right now. So I am just going to show you guys the makeup that I think makes me feel my best and my most confident, so... So we are going to just start off with that. I really hope you guys enjoy this video too. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. It's just something different on my channel. So yeah. I feel like it's just more me too. So I like being more myself with you on my main channel. So I hope that you guys like it. I'm just going to start off with a primer. This is an instant skin booster from Pixie. It's just this rose flash balm. So any primer works. Honestly, I haven't found any primer that I'm like obsessed with. They just all kind of like do their job. So... After the primer, I am using this Lumi Lotion, so it's this Glotion from L'Oreal. It is my favorite. It just goes underneath your makeup and it gives you kind of like a natural highlight. So I've been super into Illuminizers and anything that has to do with making you look more glowy. That has definitely been a look for me. And then after that, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Foundation and applying it with a beauty blender. And I actually have a question for you guys. Can you guys let me know any of your favorite foundations? They don't have to be full coverage, but just like any favorite foundation of yours because I have been using the Fenty one for a while and I like it, but because I love makeup, I just get bored and I want to try new things. So let me know your favorite foundation that you use so I can go out and buy one because I'm just bored with this one. I absolutely love it so I don't know why I'm bored with it but for makeup tutorials I use it all the time and I just want to have different ones for like different looks or different occasions if you guys know what I'm saying so yeah just comment down below your favorite foundation. Now I'm going in with my NARS concealer and I am just putting this underneath my eyes. I feel like whenever I'm filming or wanting to look good, I definitely need under eye concealer just to hide the fact that I like don't sleep, but... <laughs> and then I put a little bit on the tip of my nose and on my forehead to brighten me up. Oh yes, girl. We're glowing up. That's the video. Glow up. This is how you glow up. Now I'm taking a translucent, tra tra blah, 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 hmm. 
am taking a translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I am just applying this underneath my eyes. This is so I don't crease. I'm not baking it, I'm just like setting it and dusting it underneath my eyes because we don't got time to bake. I'm sorry, but like I'm just in a rush. For highlighter, I am going in with this Marc Jacobs Dew Drops and I'm just going to apply a little tiny drop like that much on my beauty blender and I'm going to put it where I apply my highlighter and this is just going to give me like a really really like iridescent glow. Of the glow that this gives. I feel like I'm like a goddess or something with this. Ugh. Now I'm going in with Urban Decay's new bronzer. This is Beach Bronzer. It's their new collection. So pretty. It is called the Bronzed Bronzer. Very, very creative. A plus for creativity. It just blends so nicely with the highlighter and I'm putting it on my forehead and blending it into my hairline just so it looks like I got hit with the sun even though I haven't seen the sun in, in ages you guys <laughs> I am taking the Anastasia Glow Kit. I haven't used this in so long, but I really want to use this color right here. It's the summer color. It gives me more of like a gold, like a light champagne gold color. So I'm going to be using that just to sweep over once the highlight because I don't want to look greasy. So I'm just going to lightly dust, lightly dust. And then I'm putting this on my nose. As for blush, I have been a cult favorite NARS orgasm user for years, so I'm just going to dust that on my cheeks just a tiny, tiny bit just to add some color. As for the brows, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Brow Precise My Brow Pencil and fill them in. So I already have dark eyebrows, but I just want to fill them in and shape them more. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay. I feel like I look like someone with my brows this stark. So comment below who you guys think I look like with my brows being like this dark and filled in because I feel like I feel like it's like Laurel from like how I met your mother or how I met your mother <laughs> Laurel from how to get away with murder. That's the word I was looking for I am just applying the same bronzer I put on and I'm just gonna put that in my crease just to give it some dimension but like it Sucks that I can't put makeup on my eyes yet As for lips, I'm going to be applying this MAC color. It's super, super pretty. This is in the shade Modesty, and I'm going to be applying that on my lips and then doing the Too Faced lip injection to make my lips look bigger and glossier. Here is the final look, you guys. I really hope that you guys liked it. It's super, super simple, but this is just what the makeup that I wear that makes me feel my best and my most confident, and I in no way want to say that you need to have like blown out hair and makeup on and shaved legs and silky smooth legs to look your best or to feel your most confident. That is just how I feel my most confident and how I feel like I look my best, but this is in no way saying that like you're not beautiful if you don't do this because I know that's not what this is about that is not what we are promoting here this is just my personal take on it and if you guys want to try anything out that I do then this is just what I do we are all here to love and empower one another not to compare so yeah I just had to throw that out there I also want to give a huge shout out to EOS for sponsoring this video and for giving me the uh, most amazing silky smooth legs seriously the tech 
Guys, my legs feel so soft and I really wish that you guys could feel them, but that would be a little bit creepy. Um, I will put where you guys can buy it and the link to buy it down below, but get yourself one of those, especially if you get bumps like I do. This one does not give me bumps. You guys saw my legs and I'm about to go take pictures after this, so you guys will see how like soft they look in the photos too because it literally looks like I like slick some oil on them. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Big shout out to EOS Products for sending me the shaving cream and I hope that you guys have a marvelous, wonderful day. Subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!